Hillary Clinton goes into tonight's debate hauling her own baggage. Hacked emails now reveal what Clinton was telling Wall Street bankers and big money speeches behind closed doors, transcripts she refused to make public. Joining me now, only on Fox News Sunday, Clinton campaign chairman John Podesta. John, I promise we will get to the Trump tape in a moment, but first we need to talk about these hacked emails from your private account. To, to, to go back in time, let's hear what Hillary Clinton was telling voters in New Hampshire last February. Anybody who knows me, who thinks that they can influence me, name anything they've influenced me on. Just name one thing. I'm out here every day saying I'm going to shut them down, I'm going after them. I'm going to jail them if they should be jailed. I'm going to break them up. But here's what Clinton told bankers about regulation at one of those Goldman Sachs speeches. How do you get to the golden key? How do we figure out what works? And the people that know the industry better than anybody are the people who work in the industry. So, John, what's her real view? Crack down on big money or kiss up to them? Well, Chris, I, I think we should uh, take a step back and say how we got here, which is uh, that the Russians, uh, as the U.S. senior uh, members of the U.S. government confirmed, have been hacking into Democratic accounts, and now they've hacked into my account. They put out uh, documents that are purported to be from my account. Uh, but I think if you look at what she said in this campaign, to get uh, to your question, uh, uh, I, w I would just add, you know, this should be of concern to everyone that the Russians are trying to influence our election. But I'll answer your question directly, uh, which is that she said all throughout this campaign she will crack down on Wall Street. Uh, she said it to, there's nothing uh, that uh, is that she hasn't said in, in private, that she doesn't say in public. Uh, she's put forward the most aggressive Wall Street plan uh, of any candidate, really. Uh, she stands behind Dodd-Frank. Uh, Donald Trump wants to rip it away. Uh, she won't let Wall Street uh, wreck the again. But John, what are we to make of the fact that she says in private that the people who know the industry best in terms of regulation are the people well, who work that's, on Wall that's Street? Hardly, that's hardly uh, that's hardly a, rele uh, a revelation. I mean, I think people on Wall Street know how to game the system. What she wants to do is crack down on the system, uh, make sure that there's no institution that's uh, too big to fail and there's no person that's too big to jail. So I think she's put forward very comprehensive uh, ideas uh, about that, how to uh, reduce the size of big banks. And that's why Bernie Sanders yesterday, after looking at those transcripts, uh, says, uh, said that he stands behind her, what they uh, work together to produce in the Democratic platform. Uh, and that's well, what she'll do as president of the well, United States. Let's take another And there's case. nothing, there's but, nothing but big and John, exceptional in there. Well, I mean, the question, it's as, sort of like what Donald Trump says. He's the one to handle the tax system because he knows how to game it. Let me ask you about another one. During the campaign, Clinton has taken a tough line on both trade and on immigration. But here's what she said in a big money speech to a Brazilian bank. My dream is a hemispheric common market with open trade and open borders. Just think of what doubling the trade between the United States and Latin America would mean for everybody in this room. John, open trade, Look. open borders? Look, I mean, you could you could pluck uh, a few words if the, if that's uh, what she did say out of out of context. But I think she again, she's put forward and has been for and has constantly uh, uh, you know championed and voted for comprehensive immigration reform that modernized our border security. Uh, she uh, when she was Secretary of State, uh, she talked about creating a hemispheric uh, uh, effort to bring clean energy across the continent from the uh, tip of South America to Canada to invest in clean and renewable energy, uh, to invest uh, in the transmission that would uh, clean up our energy system. And, uh, you know, I think that she's constantly talked about that. She had an initiative uh, at uh, when she was Secretary but, of State to do that. So you got to look at the context of some of these remarks. But, but John, this, and is, I this think goes... When you look at what she said about immigration, she's for comprehensive comprehensive immigration reform uh, that takes people out of the shadows, uh, uh, emphasizes family unity, but also has modernizes uh, our border security. But John, so this you gets can take to the a word heart. here and a word this there. This gets to the heart uh, of people's concerns about Hillary Clinton. I want to take a, a, an excerpt from another one of her speeches. As she said, you need both a public and a private position. The question is, when you see the speeches and then you see what she's saying on the campaign, and sometimes they're diametrically opposed, what's her real position? 
They're not diametrically opposed, Chris. I think she is. She talked about uh, income inequality to, to Wall Street. She said we need to close the uh, the carried interest loophole. She said uh, to them that uh, even in, as early as 2008, that the, what they were doing in the with uh, credit default swaps in the housing market was going to wreck the economy, which it did. She's been tough with them uh, when she was a senator from New York. Uh, that's what she's done. They're not diametrically opposed. I think, again, you could pull a few words out of context, but what she said on this camp trip came trail was she will be tough on Wall Street, and that's exactly what she'll do. All right. We've got a little bit of time remaining. You've been very patient. Your reaction to the Trump type? Well, my reaction is it's disgusting, and I think uh, people uh, saw uh, in real life what we've been saying uh, for a long time, what Hillary said uh, as far back as June, is that he's unfit to be president of the United States. You see Republicans leaving him in droves. There are now 46 senior Republicans who said uh, that he should either withdraw or they won't vote for him uh, just uh, since Friday. Uh, so I think he'll have some explaining himself to do tonight. Uh, but, you know, this isn't uh, an exception. He's, uh, he's said the same horrible things about, uh, about Latinos, about African Americans, about uh, Muslims. He's uh, made uh, fun of a uh, reporter with uh, disabilities. You know, this is who this guy is. Uh, and I think that the American people uh, can just heard and saw it for themselves in some graphic detail, uh, which, you know, I hope every uh, voter actually uh, takes the time uh, to see what is really on that tape, and I hope all of their children uh, don't get to see what's on that tape. John Podesta, John, thank you. Thanks for joining us today. And of course, we'll all be watching what happens in tonight's debate. Up next, we're